What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Our Streamers Cheaters. Today we're going to be talking about a Twitch TV streamer. He goes by the name of M underscore Joker underscore F. Bit of a mouthful if you ask me. This guy is showing signs of wall hacks and aimbottom. We're going to show you some clips today which demonstrate those things. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at BadBoyBeeman. It's the best place for you guys to contact me about any streamers, no matter how big or small, if you believe they are cheating. Right, let's crack on with the video. As always, guys, we come across to the channel first. As you can see here, there isn't much in the sense of uploads or recent broadcasts. He's got 511 followers. But what we will show you now is that he managed to leave his clips on show for the public to view. These are all the clips that were left up. Some of them are in a foreign language. I don't understand it. So we'll just click on them, check a few of them out. We'll watch them through first and then we'll go back and analyze them. Let's take a look. The funny thing about this clip is it, it's only short. It's saved as hot mic. And the reason for that is because he blows onto his microphone. That is all. That's the only reason this was clipped. And I believe that's the only reason he left it on there. It's a gulag clip and you will see him snap onto his enemy. Watch this now. Okay, so you saw him blow onto his mic, hence the title Hot Mic. But you see him snap onto the enemy and we'll go back and show you again. From here... So it's as soon as that enemy shows himself from behind the wooden wall. From there. Perfect placement. But it's as soon as the enemy's dead, it whips to the right as well. Aim assist does not pull your crosshair closer to the enemy at a faster pace. It actually slows your crosshair down to help you control it. To help you, it's called aim assist. It's to assist you with your aim. So what do you guys think of that? I know it's only a gulag clip, but I could see a snap there, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Now again in this one, guys, there seems to be a snap every single time he shoots at an enemy. He seems to have an understanding of the enemy positions as well, because every time he aims at an enemy, it seems to perfectly place itself onto the enemy chest. And you can see a motion up and down and left and right slightly as well with the crosshair. That's because of the scope he's using. It almost looks like he's got a bone scan mode on. Let's take a look at the clip now, and then we'll go back and analyze each kill. Yeah, bro, this is a mess. Alir is a baby, a con. Ah, this looks nice, man. Well. So every single time he shoots at an enemy there, there's a very minute snap in his aim. Almost like it's just locking onto the enemy. So if this guy was running aimbot, I would say that he had his aimbot key set to his fire button. He's using a controller. So his ADS button wouldn't be the one that's locking onto the enemies. It's the one that he uses to shoot. That's usually the right trigger. So he's going to be shooting at these enemies. As soon as he presses that shoot button, it snaps on slightly. He's getting his crosshair placement pretty good. And then you see it just adjust itself slightly. And then it's almost like it's got a bone scan mode on. None of them kills, or at least none of them shots, looked natural. He killed the first two guys. We'll go back and watch it again. As soon as he starts shooting here, look where it's aiming. And you see that snap then? He pulls it across really smooth, really smooth. As soon as he shoots, it snaps that little bit too fast. And it's faster than his motion. It's faster than his movement. Nothing about them two kills was natural. Not in my opinion anyway. And then the third guy manages to get away. But watch this. You see the way it's almost like the recoil, the natural side to side recoil, vertical and horizontal recoil are fighting against whatever is being used here. 
It's almost like it's sort of holding itself steady as much as possible. Almost as if he is perfectly controlling the vertical and horizontal recoil to make his crosshair perfectly placed on that enemy. I just don't see how that is even possible. You can see the motion side to side and up and down, but like the dot doesn't move off the enemy. Until the enemy is behind this gas container here. What do you guys think of that? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so in this clip, he actually gets down. He gets revived or self-revives and then manages to perfectly track an enemy through a container. He may have been able to hear him, but he snaps onto the enemy. And it is so strange. It's so blatant in this clip now, the snap, compared to the ones you've already seen. Anyway, this is a hell of a lot more blatant. It's close range. It snaps onto the enemy almost like he's not even trying to aim. He's just press shoot. It's snapped onto the enemy. And as soon as the enemy goes down and dies, it goes away in a completely different direction. So it snaps to the enemy, enemy dies, and then it just falls away in a direction it should have been shooting in the first place. Oh, oh, Okay, so did you guys see that then? It's almost like he knew that enemy was going to come around the corner from this point here. So he was looking here. Almost like he knew the enemy was coming. Takes a peek. He's nothing. Watch this now. And do you see what I mean? As soon as he's finished that enemy, his aim goes down to the right and hits the floor. Almost like that's where it should have been shooting in the first place. Because that was perfectly placed, that shot. He did not miss a bullet on that enemy. And I know it's only close range. But to go from perfectly shooting like that to then snapping down to the right and hitting the floor afterwards, it's very uneasy for me. Very unnatural. Let me know what you think in the comments below. The enemies are calling Joker and his teammates cheaters. Listen now, it's not in English, by the way, guys, but you can make out the words cheater. Listen. So you can hear the back and forth. The enemies are calling Joker's team cheaters. So I decided, you know what? I think, personally, in my opinion, it looks like Joker is using aimbot, and there were some signs of wall hacks in there as well. He got 12 kills. He's got a teammate here called the Explod TTB, and it's me, Hero, with Twitch as their clan tag. So when I took a look at them as well, but we'll show you them on another day. So what do you guys think of that? We've got all them clips compiled there for you guys to check out. And we've got team calling these guys cheaters as well at the end of the game. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is the final clip we're going to be showing you now. What I want you to concentrate on is the first marker he actually puts down. Without any call outs from his teammates, he puts a mark down on the wall. And then later on, you will see an enemy in that position as well. But his shots also seem to be quite snappy throughout this as well. Watch the whole clip and let me know what you think. There's the marker. There's the snap. And at the end of every game, from what I've seen on these clips, he just walks away. Almost like he doesn't want to face the music. His teammate was the one dealing with that team that we've just listened to in the last clip. So he's just walking away. He wasn't even sat in his seat for that one. He's not sat there now. So why? Why isn't he sitting there? Doesn't he want to face the music? We'll go back and watch a couple of these clips again, okay? So first of all, he places this marker on the right side here. Yeah? 
Now, bearing in mind where he's placed that marker, that enemy, if there was an enemy there, would move left or right at any point, yeah? He goes from doing that marker there, he sees the glint on the left-hand side from a sniper, but watch how he snaps onto that enemy. Yeah, it goes from the floor, drags up, and perfectly snaps onto the enemy. Now, someone might say that's recoil control, but it's not. It just isn't, and you can tell the way in which it speeds up towards the end until it stops dead on the enemy. This one now, watch how perfect his shots are. Ready? And that would have been the enemy who was on the blue marker prior to that engagement. He would have moved across from that blue marker. So to me, that whole situation there is very, very suspicious. Again, let me know what you think in the comments below. Well, there we have it, guys. Joker seems to be showing massive signs of aimbot and wall hacks. You can tell this by the way in which his aim is perfectly placed, and then as soon as the enemy's down, it just bounces off to the left or right. He seems to be snapping all over the place, and the way in which he's actually positioning himself, you know, it just seems too good to be true. What do you guys think of that? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. If you want to support the channel further, hit that blue join button today and become a member of the Triple B fam. And don't forget, guys, follow me on Twitter at BadBoyBeeman. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!